Cycle Team USA will be hoping history repeats with three days to go until racing resumes against Team New Zealand in the America's Cup final. Most of the action is taking place in the boat sheds. With speculation rife that Oracle will have some new tricks in its bag when it hits the water on Sunday morning New Zealand time. But under the rules, Oracle can't put a new boat on the water. It can make modifications, but even they are prescribed. So how can they make their cat go faster in three days? Because if they can't... They're going to lose. I asked NBC race commentator Todd Harris. You know what? I think there's a lot of things they can try to do. Um, on American television, I have Nathan Outridge and Chris Draper as my television uh, co-partners. And I said, guys, can you really get that much done in five days? And they said there's minor incremental gains they can make. But they said they need to make some major gains because the way it is right now, Peter Burling and Emirates Team New Zealand is just putting what we call a beat down on them here in Bermuda. They just do not have an answer. And what's amazing to all of us is the defenders of the Cup have not led one race so far in the America's Cup final. So we in New Zealand, of course, all remember back to San Francisco. Team New Zealand up 8-1. New Zealand took what was in yep. hindsight a really ill-advised day off. Spittle and Oracle are tweaking like crazy. They come out with a boat that is just a completely different craft. And they go from 8-1 down to win 9-8. This isn't the same kind of race, is it? You can't make such dramatic changes this time around, can you? No, I don't think so. I mean, I could be wrong, John, but to be honest with you, I, I think the Americans came into this with a pretty fast boat as it was, but I think they've just gone up against an opponent who's just faster, and everyone thought that they were fast. Everyone knew the Kiwis are fast, but I think it's the way they're sailing so precise. They make an error every now and then. Everyone does, but it's not errors that are costing them races, and, and Pete Burling Bless his heart. I mean, the guy's got ice in his veins. He does not make mistakes that rattle him. I mean, when he does make a mistake, he quickly gets on about his business and he gets back to sailing. You know, we've seen a couple times where they let the Americans get back in the race, close it down to maybe less than 100 meters, and then he's off and sailing. And, and what's so amazing about all this is he's doing this in the lead. You know, we saw him in the Challenger final facing off against Nathan Outeridge and Artemis of Sweden, and he was behind many times, but he found a way to put the pressure on the Swedes and force them into errors, and then he would pass them. He hasn't had to do that yet. Against a guy of Jimmy Spithill's caliber, yeah. he, it just hasn't been a contest. Yeah, so you've got Nathan Outridge on your commentary team. What's he saying about Team New Zealand? Is he feeling like, uh, what, that three zip up, right? So they only have to win four races. Spittle and Oracle have to win seven now. Is Outridge thinking that Team New Zealand are uh, really going to be tough to beat? I, I think Nathan believes that. You know, I talked to him prior to us going on with the finals after they were eliminated, and I said, you know, best boat out here. He said, fastest boat out here, was, without question, is the Kiwis. And he said, if they race today, I, th I think the Kiwis beat Americans 7-2. Um, and this was, you know, a week or Gosh. so ago, and I don't know if he would stick with that. He might say the, the Kiwis are going to beat the Americans 7-love because the way they're racing, it's just, it's just no contest right now. And I don't see Pete making any mistakes so drastic that the way the Americans are sailing and the speed they're sailing at which, he's going to open the door that much for them. You know, we, we were talking about it at dinner tonight, John, and we said, wouldn't it be amazing if the Kiwis win the two races this Saturday, they win the first race on Sunday, and then the last race on Sunday when they have a chance to clinch it, the Americans win one. Then I think you're going to get a lot of the uh, conspiracy theorists going, oh, no, we've seen this movie again. Here we go again. <laughs> I just don't I don't see I don't see Pete Burling getting rattled. When they win, they're about the same I think heart rate is when they when they've lost in the past. It's just they go about their business. You know, Chris Draper had the funniest comment the other day about you good people down there. He said he said, That's about as emotional as they get. He goes, You gotta work pretty hard to get a Kiwi to give you a high five. They just don't get that emotional about things and, and that's been maybe the best asset for Peter Burling. So Burling is sailing brilliantly, and I love your characterization of him, and everyone in New Zealand who knows him knows you're bang on the money. He just doesn't get rattled. But also, yeah. the design team and the building team have done something magic, haven't they, with that cat? Well, I think if it comes to fruition and the Kiwis win this thing, I think everyone's going to look back and go, they're geniuses because they were the last ones to come to Bermuda, so, you know, everyone has spies out there. They're spying on them down in Auckland. But they were the last ones to come up here, and they bring those cyclors. And I think initially people thought, oh, this is a gimmick thing. This is this. But you know what? As a cyclist myself, I know I can generate a lot more power with my legs than I can with my arms. And I just think the way that team works, 
with Glenn Ashby, with Blair Took, with the, the Brain Trust, working with, with Peter Burling, they're just so smooth. They just aren't making major mistakes. Yeah, they've had some bad jibes. Yeah, they've had some um, odd timing on some of their tax. But for the most part, they're doing everything they have to do, and you look at the the distance that they're winning by. These aren't winning by 8, 10, 15, 20 seconds. We're talking 45, 50, over a minute. So as you know, John, this in sailing, that's, that's a blowout. Yeah, that is the NBC's racing commentator. I spoke to him afterwards. We were having a bit of a chat, and I said, really? You know, are you really that confident on Team New Zealand's behalf? And he is not convinced Oracle can find the speed they don't have to beat Team New Zealand, but I'm sure we all felt the same way in San Francisco, didn't we? 8-1 up, goodness gracious me, 